we are out here in a tributary to the Kennedy River in Tloquit Territory, and as you can see, this little creek here looks more like a giant wood pile, which doesn't make things easy for the fish that live in them. So about 60 years ago, this watershed was clear-cut log so that the high-value firs and spruces could be extracted from the lands, but there wasn't much demand for the old growth red cedar at the time, so it was left behind. And being incredibly rot-resistant, it persisted, and then a few decades later, when demand for cedar went up, many salvage loggers or shake blockers came back in to extract the value of that cedar. Now, most commonly, the old cedar logs were bucked into two-foot rounds and then split with what's known as a shake splitter to create cedar shingles that could be bundled up and removed easily without having to transport the big logs around. This ended up creating a ton of fine woody debris, and since these creeks were logged right up to their banks, when it rained, all that debris ended up flowing down directly into them, piling up in mass quantities and creating a few big problems. So firstly, this jam creates a physical barrier that restricts access to adult salmon making their way upstream, cutting them off completely from their former spawning grounds. This material also slows the flow of water to a point where any allochthonous material floating in it is able to drop from the water column and collect on the bottom of the stream, often creating sandier and siltier substrates that would have existed prior, smothering the gravels that make great spawning grounds. And then finally, all of this fine woody debris takes up physical space in the channel so that when water levels are low during droughts, it flows subsurface and leaves very little room for juvenile salmon to rear in. So the best way to restore creeks like this is with some good old fashioned elbow grease. Because these creeks are remote, we need to physically pick up all of this wood piece by piece and remove it from the stream stacking it up into a pile far away in the woods above the floodplain so that it doesn't re-enter the stream during the next big rain. For the bigger pieces, we've come in here and we've bucked them into smaller pieces to be removed, and then we let Mother Nature do the rest. So with most of the small wood cleared from the stream and the larger pieces repositioned with hand winches, adult salmon now have access to these prime spawning grounds, and the unimpeded flow of water will quickly clear out that fine sediment to allow gravel to collect again, while creating a deeper, narrower, and more complex channel with scoured pools and shade so that salmon can thrive. There's no quick fix to problems created in the past and often the best way forward is to just keep moving along piece by piece to create a better world for tomorrow.